Where's the other bit? Hold on. Oh. Oh. I mean, love this thing. Huh? From scrubbing through my 4K 60 FPS timeline with absolutely zero lag to completely changing my video production workflow to a way smoother style, and all coming from what feels like my own personal Google Drive, this video is going to show you why and how you should be editing on your NOS. Let's check it out. Alright, so for those of you who might not know what a NOS is, long story short, it's a network attached storage. And basically what that means, it's like a bunch of hard drives stuck together, but they're all accessed as one individual unit. The cool thing is, you can connect to it from anywhere around the world, as long as you're connected to the internet, and it's connected to the internet. So, this little bad boy right here, this is the Synology DS1621+. Plus. And there's, I'll show you what it looks like actually. There's, you unlock this thing right here, there's actually, pardon the freaking cat hair on it. Ew, we got, we got cats bro, uh, they be shedding. There's six of these guys in here. This is an eight terabyte hard drive. So I basically have 48 terabytes of storage. What makes it super valuable is that instead of having just a bunch of hard drives that eventually will uh -huh. fail, you can set this old dude up with a thing called redundant storage. Meaning there's a built-in safety feature. So whenever one of these drives ever fails, it'll let me know. And then I can be like, oh snap, buy another one of these, take the faulty one out, put the new one in, and then boom, I can continue on and nothing ever happened. And now for what you actually came here for, can you edit on it specifically 4K 60 FPS? The answer is yes and no. I mean, technically, if you wanted to edit straight directly on it, by that, I mean, you, you grab your 4K 60 files, put it on the NOS and make your project file on the NOS and immediately start editing. It'd probably be really slow editing on Premiere unless you already had bought 10 gigabit ethernet switch, 10 gigabit ethernet PCIe that goes into, into your NOS, either a 10 gigabit PCIe that goes in your motherboard in your computer or a 10 gigabit ethernet adapter, like a turbo jolt or something like that. When you put that all together, that's, Kind of a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And this is already a hefty boy already too, so I'm not gonna lie. But, fret not. You know I got y'all? Who, who you think you talking to? You, you know I got y'all? Hold on, let, let, me put you, let me put you on real quick. Here's how they get silky smooth editing on your NOS without buying all that extra 10 gigabit ethernet stuff. So here's my new workflow. I go crazy and film my content, 4K60, you know what it is. I immediately throw that footage onto the NOS. And after that, I immediately make proxies. But and here's the important part. I don't put my new proxies next to my original media. I actually put that onto my SSD. Or I could even use my own computer as well. My own internal storage of my computer. After doing that, now my timeline is buttery smooth. And I mean buttery smooth, boy. I'm talking about having my timeline on full. And it's able to scrub through the entire timeline perfectly. I can use, you know, the J and L button on the keyboard to speed it up and slow it down. And normally what would happen is that it would like kind of cut out and like kind of freeze on some frames I'm going through speeding through. But with this, it's smooth all the way around, both in my timeline and in my project panel. My project panel previews, everything, is, there's no lag whatsoever. And I have it on full, 4K60 full. What's even better is multicam mode. I've edited before in music videos where multicam mode will, it won't be laggy per se, but it'll just have like a delay. I'll click the play button and it'll and then it'll start. I'll click the pause button and it'll be like, and then it'll pause. And that's really annoying. I can kill it like your, your mental when you're editing. But with this, I can have a bunch of clips lined up together, putting it on full and it will still perfectly play, perfectly pause easily. All right, so that's, that's one benefit. But for those of you who are like, dude, my computer is already a supercomputer. Why should I care about lag? Hi, right, bro. Check it out. Check it out. Basically, my workflow from before, I would move everything onto my SSD, both my regular files and my proxy files, and I would edit from there. And when I'm done with that, I'd put that onto long-term storage onto an HDD, which takes a while. So that was my old workflow. But now, with my current workflow, I'm already moving everything to my long-term storage. The reason why I wouldn't do that before is that editing from that would just be so much slower because the file transferring speed is way slower on the HDD. But right now, the way I have it, it's super smooth. So I can move it to my long-term storage already. And I'm making proxies, it goes onto my SSD. I can take that SSD and go somewhere else. If I'm editing on my laptop mobily, I can edit there instead. If I ever were to lose my SSD somehow or my SSD somehow fails, I have my original files on my NOS already in long-term storage ready to be used to make more proxies or ready to just do whatever. And when I'm rendering the video, I can either just wait for me to get back to my computer here or I can just connect to my NOS from anywhere and download the files that I need to render my video like at full resolution. So boom, easy money.
Now on top of that, on top of that, since it's proxy files, my SSD doesn't fill up nearly as fast because it's like half the files. Before, I would have my regular files and my proxy files together on the SSD. That means all my full amount of gigabytes to my regular files, plus half that amount again because it's proxies are half the size. But since I have my regular files on my NOS, I'm saving a lot, lot, lot more room on my SSD so I can put more projects on there. So yeah, if I ever need to edit on the go, I could just plug in my SSD, use the proxies and edit from there. And if I ever need to render out the videos, I could either wait till I get back to my house to render it here on my NOS, or I could connect to my NOS from literally anywhere and download the files I need to render my video and boom, I can have full 4K60 anywhere. And also when my drive is full, instead of having to move it all to my NOS, I could just delete everything I don't need because I already have the regular files on my NOS. So I don't have to worry about that, that last step of dumping the entire two terabytes of footage. Like it's, all I gotta keep is the project files. Like it's just that easy. So in summary, I'm using my current workflow with the NOS setup and making proxies onto my SSD and making my project file on there, I get absolutely zero lag 4K60 timeline on full. A smoother editing workflow process that saves me basically like two times the space on my SSD and it has a safety backup system, which completely improves my entire video file processing workflow. On top of being able to connect to any of my files to view it or download it from literally anywhere in the world. Like what? For videographers, for editors in general, this is juicy. This this thing is this thing is sexy. I'll make love to this thing any day of the week. No no diddy.